house clients like we do. It's not that it's so hot, it's just that it's so dry. That's the biggest part of this. That's right, Steve. For some areas, it was pretty warm today, but of course, the dryness has been ongoing. We're going on two weeks of dry conditions and relative humidity today into the single digits. In Otay Mountain, 71 degrees, a pretty nice evening in Chula Vista tonight. As we look across the county, temperatures almost made it to the 90s in places like Vista and Escondido, El Cajon, Ramona, San Diego, 85 degrees, five degrees shy of the old time record for the month of February. So how do we compare to the rest of the nation? We're one of the warmest places. The only place warmer than us right now, it is Phoenix with 74 degrees. And one of the biggest differences having 88 degrees today in Vista versus having 88 degrees in the middle of the summer, it's actually the water temperature. And we talk about this a lot. It is still in the 60s that cool water provides a cool breeze, which really makes a difference outside where the breeze is not blocked, of course. But in the summertime, when the temperatures are in the 70s and the water is so warm, it only brings more humidity and muggy conditions across the county. A wind advisory will go into effect at 8 o'clock tonight through 4 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Those winds already gusting close to 20 miles per hour. But as we go into the overnight hours, the winds will strengthen and they could reach up to 60 miles per hour. That's why that wind advisory was issued. Of course, elevated fire danger is going to be a concern. It'll be a little bit different than the last event. We'll see some of those gusts making it all the way to the coastal areas. One of those areas will be ocean side where the winds could gust close to 30 miles per hour in the overnight hours. So if it gets a little loud out there is because of all that wind. As we go closer to the morning hours at 1130, the winds in Carina Mesa 24 25 miles per hour, which really does make a difference difference when it's so dry, it brings down the relative humidity even lower so that fire danger could continue through the weekend. High pressure will stay strong until Sunday and then it breaks down and we'll start to see cooler weather in our seven day forecast. You can see those numbers dropping from 80 on Sunday to 62 degrees by Tuesday. So talk about getting reacclimated to those numbers. I don't know if I'm ready for that going from 80s to low 60s is going to take a little bit of time in the communities 90s tomorrow up upper 80s once again through the weekend well above average but of course just like Steve mentioned is the dryness that's a really big concern next week we'll start to see some patchy fog developing Monday night into Tuesday and maybe even the possibility for a light passing shower but after two weeks of dry conditions and Santa Ana winds it's going to make it really tough we're going to need a lot of moisture in the atmosphere for any of those showers to actually make it to the surface but adding a chance may be the beginning of what we could see for the second half of the month